This is the story of how First Lieutenant Clabe Jones captured Captain Hiram H. Stamper. Misfortune often befalls those of us that takes things into excess. The love of apple brandy, often called Applejack, is no exception. In Letcher County, during the Civil War, Aunt Cynthia Boggs owned an apple orchard. But this was not her primary income. Her fortune came from the production and distribution of the alcoholic beverage known as Applejack, which was very popular in colonial America as a drink of choice. But for Confederate Captain Hiram H. Stamper, his well-known love of the drink would bring about his downfall. Stamper's love for the drink was such that he strategically placed his camp and command near the Boggs Farm in Whitesburg in order to protect this valuable Civil War resource. Learning of Stamper's unmitigated love of the drink led First Lieutenant Jones to concoct a plan to reunite Stamper with his love. Marching all night, Jones and his company made their way silently to the farm and laid in wait in the woods. Hiding in the brush, the Union scouts observed the Confederate camp for over a day. That evening, Captain Stamper would once again visit his love at the Boggs Farm. Carrying two empty jugs across his saddle, he made his way to the farmhouse. After an ample time, an argument broke out at the farmhouse between Stamper and Boggs over payment. Jones, seizing the moment, took two of his men and went into the house drew their guns on Captain Stamper and forced him to surrender. Stamper resisted capture and put up such a fuss that Jones agreed to have the jugs filled for him and paid for it, so that Stamper would come peaceably. Jones then sent a girl with a note telling Stamper's men that he was now a captive and that if they were fired upon, Stamper would be killed immediately. Jones then mounted the horse and took Stamper to the camp. In the meantime, Colonel Caudill had captured Federal Captain Webb. Under the flag of truce, a prisoner exchange was held in which Webb was exchanged for Stamper. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living want to thank you for joining us for Mountain Tidbits. Thank you for your support as we bring to you the history of the Appalachian Mountains.